What are you doing, Gray? Gay out of the tokens. Mmm. Are we gonna play Monopoly? Yes, it puts the tricky milk. Hi, Porter. Porter, say hi. <laughs> So it's morning, and we've just been playing board games so far. <laughs> we've played Candyland and Grey One, and then we played I Found It, which my mom like got this off Amazon. It's basically like Where's Waldo kind of thing, but with Disney. You just have to like find certain objects in a picture. It's cute. And now we're going to play Monopoly Junior. I didn't even know they made a Monopoly Junior. Gray used to make us play the regular Monopoly game all the time. And obviously that's very hard for a four-year-old to understand. So they make a junior version, which is for four and up. And it's much easier to understand. And the board is much bigger, less things. And it basically just ends once everybody gets a... Like once all the properties are bought. So it's really not bad. I and mean, the kids like it. <laughs> Porter just likes all the little characters you can be. Bless you. We all have colds. I'm pretty sure Gray brought it home from preschool. Gray got it. Porter actually seemed to get it first, shockingly, because he seems the best out of all of us. Anthony is sick. He's been sick a couple days, and today I woke up with a sore throat. So I'm really hoping I don't get sick, but I'd rather us all get sick now and get over it by the time we go to Florida. We leave in less than a week. So the boys are fighting over my lap, but I'm pulling out the camera because I know you don't really care about our lazy Saturday morning playing board games. But today, I think, if all goes well, we will go and buy our new car. I've talked about this before in previous vlogs, but Anthony and I have been on the hunt for a minivan. If you're new to my channel, I'm Shannon. I'm married to my husband, Anthony. We have two boys and then a third, a baby girl, on the way. Right now, Anthony drives a two-door Jeep. And I drive a four-door Civic, Honda Civic. My car seats five. Anthony's car seats five. We are about to become a family of five. And as you know, car seats are bulky and we could not fit three car seats in the back of either of our cars. So we're upgrading and getting a bigger car to fit all the car seats in it. And I know a lot of people protest minivans and they'd much rather get an SUV. Anthony was really pushing for an SUV, but I am minivan all the way. I know how awesome they are, how child friendly they are, family friendly they are. So that is what we were doing. We were gonna get a minivan. We've been debating between the Honda Odyssey and the Chrysler Pacifica. And it just so happens that we get a discount through Chrysler, through Anthony's grandpa. And so that is what we are going to do. We are going to get the Chrysler. Both cars are great. They each have like little quirks. Like, I mean, they're both basically the same car. The Honda Odyssey has like a little bit of a sunroof and it has an extra seat. And the Chrysler Pacifica has like a heated steering wheel and it has the ability to put the cars or put has the ability to put those seats completely like down into the and like have it be flat so really they're both the same they both get about the same gas mileage also what kind of sold us on the chrysler pacifica is it has the option to come in um, four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive and the honda odyssey does not it only does front wheel drive so we are going to do that. We I've been cleaning out my car because we are going to trade in my Civic for it. There's no point in us having three cars. Um, Anthony and I both own our cars outright. So it'll stink going back to paying car payments. We'll probably have to pay for about three years, which is like what we did for my Civic. I was really pushing for Anthony to trade in his Jeep because it's manual. I don't know how to drive manual. 
And like I said, it's a two door, so it's very hard to get car seats in it if we ever need to. But Anthony loves that car and doesn't want to give it up. And the minivan is technically for me because I take the kids more than he does. Um, because I'm mostly a stay-at-home mom, aside from my part-time job that I do. So we are trading in my Civic. I'm very sad to see it go. We've had it for a little over six years now. But... Hopefully we get a good value for it. It's got very low mileage for being six years old and only real thing it needs is like new tires. But other than that, like it's in great shape. So hopefully we get a good deal on it and then hopefully we can also use like Anthony's grandpa's discount and I hope we can just get a good deal for it. So if all goes well, we'll buy it today. We're yes, planning yeah. on going to the dealership today. My parents are so graciously coming to watch the kids so we don't have to take them and have that whole fiasco and it can just be Anthony and I. So they're gonna come around one during nap time and then we're gonna head to the dealership. The dealership is kind of far away, it's like 30 minutes away, but it's the only one that has like minivans in stock. All the ones near us for some reason don't. It's like we had such a hard time finding minivans. And then we went to this dealership up north, like 30 minutes north, and they had like 23 minivans. Like, I don't know how that happened. So we are gonna go hopefully get one. I'm thinking I want a silver one, either silver or black. So far I've had a like navy blue PT Cruiser and then I've had my black Civic. So I thought I'd change it up and maybe go silver. In stock they have black white and silver i really don't want white and a black minivan doesn't sound very fun so maybe silver they have a really cool it's called like phantom blue it's like a navy blue and i would get that but it's like an extra thousand dollars just for a color that just seems silly to me so we are playing board games and then we'll eventually go get dressed yeah i'll keep you guys updated if we do it indeed get the car hopefully all goes well but if for some reason like we should wait until the end of the month to get a better deal then we'll just come back in two weeks so it really just kind of depends on what we can get so i'm excited for that not excited for more car payments but i'm excited to get that checked off our list um so we can actually install the infant car seat and just be ready to go for baby girl update on the kids they're sick, like I said, but they've been doing well. Porter is still potty training. Basically, we're at the point where if he's naked, he's perfect. He will go on his own. I remind him every now and again, but he will do just fine. It's once we put the clothes on him that he has issues with. It's like he'll forget, or he has a hard time even like pulling his pants down and like, getting on the potty in time. So we're working on that. That's why you see he has pants and underwear on because we are working with him on trying to get him potty trained and finished. So that's his update right now, but he's doing really, really well. We went shopping yesterday for some snacks for the plane for Florida. Like I said, we leave in less than a week. We need to go downstairs and get our suitcase. The two boys and I are gonna share a check. So I need to like pack all that stuff, but thankfully like it's warm there, obviously, cause it's Florida, that's where we're going. Yeah, thankfully it's warm, so I can do summer clothes, which weigh a lot less than winter clothes. So I'm super excited for that. I also wanted to show you guys, we did this last night. Gray got his Valentine's ready for his preschool Valentine's party. They're having it on Valentine's Day, which is on Tuesday. They told us not to put anything in the two and to just write that it was from whoever it is because I think they just go and put it in all the bags instead of like being like, where's, you know, Emily and where's, you know, whatever. He doesn't even have an Emily in his class. It's just easier to just take one and just put it in all the bags. So he said they made bags at preschool and then we went and he picked PJ Masks and these are stickers, huge stickers. So each of the kids get, kids get a sticker. And they have all the characters on it. And then he had eight left over. And so he decided to make one for, one for my mom, one for my dad, one for Allison and her husband Garrett, and, and then one for Kelly. 
<laughs> he had two left and randomly he decided he wanted to send them to my brother Patrick and his girlfriend Rachel so he wrote them out and then they live in Cincinnati I don't know when they're gonna be in town next so I just mailed it to them <laughs> they're in college they go to UC so they're gonna get a valentine's card in the mail i guess from gray so it's funny he didn't he didn't send one to my brother peter he didn't want to send one to um kelly's boyfriend nathan anthony's parents he just picked patrick or rachel so random but it was hilarious so i hope they enjoy that when they get that so he loves giving valentine's and Porter is jealous and he wants to give Valentine's, but I told him he has to wait till next year when he's in preschool. So we had fun making those. He's gotten really good at writing his name. He gets to eat an ice cream sundae at his preschool party. So that'll be so fun for him. I already got my gifts for Anthony. I don't know if I'm gonna wrap them or just leave them in the box. And Anthony said he got something for me too. So I'm sure we'll um, exchange those on Valentine's Day, which is just in a couple days. So, super exciting. Well, we have some news. <laughs> we bought a new car. We got a minivan. So yeah, Anthony and I went yesterday to a dealership and worked out a deal, treated in my Civic, and now we have a Chrysler Pacifica minivan. The boys are in the van playing. I'm trying to figure out car seats right now. Hi Gray. Hi Gray. Hi Port. What do you think? Do you like our new car? So it's got stow and go seats. One of the seats is in the floor right now. But it's um, a big car. <laughs> Much bigger than our old one. So it's got that new car smell. 2023, so brand new. It's only got like 17 miles on it. <laughs> We love it. I meant to vlog at the dealership, but it was stressful and crazy, so I didn't. But yes, we have a new car, we have a minivan. I'm so excited. I got silver, which is what I wanted. So I'm excited about that. And now we can fit baby girl in a car. So I'm working on like latching the seats right now, which is harder than, than I don't know why it's not working. I'm having trouble with it. But yeah, we're super excited about the new minivan. The boys love it. It's got heated steering wheel, heated seats, remote co control car starter, a huge screen, lane assist, um, parking, pedestrian parking, all the good stuff. So we are loving this car. So we went on a family walk and we found a new playground in our neighborhood. <laughs> This is like the third or fourth one. Porter! Peekaboo! Mom! Hi! You found me. I found you. It's a little more of a walk, but it's cute. It's got like fake turf, things to climb on, balance beam, big hill to slide down, tunnel, little kid playground. So, this is super cute. You want to get down? Go across the tunnel. Go through the tunnel and down the slide. Uh-uh. 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 